How's it going everybody? I apologize in advance if you hear any background noise today. My little nephew is out there playing hide and seek with my dad, but this was the only time I could record this and I didn't want to delay it every, any further. It should have been up yesterday, but as I'll explain, this was supposed to be a package opening. So I'll explain all that and then get into the showcase of the Batman vs. Superman. Dawn of Justice Ultimate Edition Batman Statue Edition today on the Razman's Reality. Alrighty, so as I mentioned, this was supposed to be a package opening from our good friend uh, and supplier of the channel. I mean, literally, this entire collection, two-thirds of it anyway, is the responsibility of this man, and that of course is Chill Pilgrim. And the story was, I was going to pre-order this, and I was going to get the Best Buy Steelbook, but then Scott offered to help me get it because he wanted to send me something and his reasons behind my to send me something will be explained here at the end of the episode but he said hey just wait I'll get you the best edition so I'm still thinking that best edition is going to be the best by steel book. but then Scott sends me a text and he says your package is coming via FedEx you'll get it on Wednesday so I thought well that's weird because Best Buy always just uses you SPS so I was like what's going on so FedEx comes and it's this ginormous package from Amazon and I was like okay somehow Scott managed to get Batman vs Superman into one of his typical amazing packages and just use an Amazon package. But this thing is huge. I mean, what in the world did he put in here? So I start investigating things a little more. I pull it out ever so slightly and I realize that, oh my gosh, this is a freaking statue of Batman that comes with Dawn of Justice on Blu-ray, the Ultimate Edition. This must be an Amazon exclusive. So Unfortunately, none of that footage was saved and salvageable because as you've seen behind you in the background, the statue is way too big for me physically to be able to handle. So what I did was I actually used the iPhone 6S Plus to not only show you the statue more close up, but you'll hear my initial reaction to the statue because I had not seen it put together yet because obviously I physically could not do it myself so my dad put it together placed it in what he thought the best spot was for the shot and then I shot my initial reaction of seeing it for the first time through the iPhone 6s plus camera so we'll cut away to that here in a minute but here is of course the blu-ray itself very nice slip cover and yay the stickers managed to not ruin a slip cover for once huzzah so there of course is the front and there's the back it's the exact same artwork underneath so i'll skip to showing you what's inside and here you go here's the set inside we have the dvd of course on the left and the ultimate edition cut on the right and then underneath the ultimate edition cut is actually the cinematic cut on Blu-ray. This is one of those ones that's a double stacker, but since it's Blu-ray, you're less likely to scratch it, so we'll take a look at that. And there's the cinematic cut, and yes, I know that it says theatrical cut. I know that they call it theatrical cut, but if you know me, you know that that is one of my biggest pet peeves in life, 
a film experience is cinema. A theatrical experience is a Broadway play, or just a play in general, a stage play. But anyway, I digress. It's probably never going to change. Anyway, that's the Blu-ray itself, and now, of course, my reaction and your closer look at the beautiful statue. Oh my gosh, everyone, look at that. Look how beautiful he is. That is the most gorgeous thing I've ever owned. Thank you so much, Scott. I hope the camera's doing justice to the detail of this thing. It's just absolutely amazing. Thank you so, so much, man. I'm just over the moon. So there it is, everyone. Isn't it just amazingly beautiful? I'm just over the moon ecstatic with it. Unfortunately, I have to let you all know something and end this on a somewhat somber note. If you're a subscriber to Chill Pilgrim, you notice that Chill Pilgrim is no more. His channel's gone. Scott's father passed away. He'd been battling cancer for a long time. He may have seen a video that once existed on his channel telling a little bit about the story. Well, he passed on and he and his mother are grieving right now. And for Scott, part of that grieving means getting himself in financial order and redoing his priorities. And he honestly just wasn't that happy with the quality of his videos and really wants to learn how to edit and really take his things to the next level when he returns to YouTube. So he will be back someday. He's just not putting a timetable on it. But he will be back someday with a new name and a new beginning. And the name he's considering right now is The Lone Hermit. So yeah, he just wanted me to pass that along to all of you and thank all of you who've supported him over the years and keep him in your thoughts. And hopefully we'll see him again soon. He may send things to me before coming back to YouTube, I don't know. So of course if he does, I'm happy to showcase them because Scott just goes above and beyond with everything he does. He even mentioned trying to help me with the slip cover trick on Doctor Who Series 1 on Blu-ray. So if he does that, I of course will showcase that and then anything else that comes down the line. But Scott, man, you know what kind of an amazing friend you have been to me since the day we met and you know how appreciative I am of you. And you know, just like I've already shown to you personally, you know that I'm always here for you if you need a friend. So best of luck to you, man. Do what you need to do, and we all look forward to seeing you again one day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that share button and spread the word around it, because every little bit does help. If you're new here and you like what you saw here today enough to want to come back to this channel please hit that subscribe button and please interact with me on all of the social media platforms that you see there on the graphic as well interacting with my viewers is one of my favorite things in the world to do and remember that life is only as awesome as you live it so live it fantastically and man of steel level well.